Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're invading an Elden Ring, chances are you've probably invaded a AFK rune farmer before. And regardless if they were truly AFK or if they were moving around, you've been unable to do enough damage to them by projectiles like a cannon or reach them to destroy them. I'm going to show you a stance swap that will allow you to reach these people, and you're going to need three items to do it. The first item you're going to need is Marika's Hammer. Do not concern yourself with meeting the stat requirements of this as it will be unnecessary. The second thing you're going to need is a katana with unsheath, moon veil also works, or a straight sword with square off. And then the third thing you're going to need is any weapon that has gravitas. There's a few hammers and great hammers that also work, but for the sake of this example I'm going to use gravitas. Now I recommend having the stance weapon next to the weapon that has gravitas. You could do this by either just getting rid of items in your inventory or by using order of acquisition. The way this works is that any items that you pull from your storage bin show up in the order that you put them into your inventory. So I've personally placed the stance weapon above the gravitas weapon. You can have this anyway, just try to have it in a way where it's very convenient for you to immediately reach it. The first thing you want to do is equip Marika's hammer into the main hand and the stance weapon into the off hand. Then you're going to two hand the off hand and perform any action such as an R1, roll, or item use. And during this action, press L2 to buffer the stance into your actions. Then we're going to switch our stance weapon for our gravitas weapon. Now instead of pressing circle three times after doing that switch, when you make the switch, press the options button or whatever you use to open the menu in the first place to instantly close it instead. Now when performing this stance swap, there's a few quirks to be aware of. The first is that if you try to do it too fast, you'll be unable to because the menu lockout. You need to wait until after the menu is no longer gray to switch your weapon. The second is that if you do switch your weapon and nothing happens, it's probably because you pressed L2 too early and didn't properly buffer the stance after your action. The third is that you will want to hold forward and circle or sprint to actually clear gaps and that halfway into the sprint, there's a point where you will be able to redirect which direction you're moving in so do not have too much directional input, otherwise you will fall. To reach those hiding in Lens Rise Tower in Khalid, from the cliff side next to the graves, find this big rock in front of the tower, and then on the other side of it, aim at the tower and perform the first air walk. Switch your weapon back to the stance weapon, and then you're going to want to place yourself in the middle section of this roof and aim at the far corner of this triangular roof. Now if you miss this, it's probably because you were too far back on that roof or you didn't hold sprint early enough coming out of the menu exits. One thing that could help is that as you're running across the air, spam the jump and if you are about to miss this platform, sometimes you will just barely step onto it and you'll be able to jump and land onto the balcony. If you find that the movement from your input action that you're buffering your L2 into is making it hard to consistently line up or space the start of the airwalk, I recommend using an item in your hotbar that you normally can't use as the leading action. Something to note, for some items you have to wait a little bit longer before pressing L2. Now for those at the first step in Limgrave, there's a few locations that they can be in. Most commonly, they're going to be on this little section, which you can reach without even doing any of these swaps. 
You want to jump from this corner of the rock here. And most people will be hiding just on the other side of this. In most cases, you could just shoot them with the cannon from the spot over here. Another good portion of these people will be down below on the underside of these cliffs. From here, you can just fall onto this section safely. Not many people will be here as they will be in the other two sections, but you can reach those other two sections by using the hammer walk. For those hiding at the Academy Gate Town on the small rooftop next to the Site of Grace, head to the building to the east of it, jump onto the edge of the building. This one's best to use an item that won't move you forward. And then from this building, you're going to just jump onto the corner of that one. And you'll find most of the people hiding up here. For those hiding on the large rooftop at Academy Gate Town, head to the building with the chest in the middle of it, aim at the opposite roof, and most of them will be hiding in this little corner. For those hiding on the bridge at Lake of Lernia, on the west side of the gate, there is a rock formation that you will want to jump up onto. And you're going to want to place yourself on this section of the rock, so that way when you are one, you will end up on the other side of it. And this is where you will perform the first air walk. Make sure you switch back to the stance weapon. And this rock is the one you want to jump up onto, but it's a little bit quirky. You can make a, a direct jump from down here onto it, but it's not entirely consistent. You could take a slight... You don't want to sprint because if you sprint, you will overshoot it, or you have a higher chance of overshooting it. But you want to move towards it and be careful not to, to go too far. From here, jump, and during your jump, hold circle to be able to run. Immediately aim at the corner. And then you wanna aim at this section, and then aim behind you to jump to here. If you've, if you've let go of circle at this point in time, just re rebuffer it. You're gonna aim for that little section of the wall. You're just gonna straight aim for it. Now this section is up to you whether or not you want to take a risk. Uh, you wanna land either on this pillar section here that's jutting out, or you can use Hannah Melania to go around it. If you're gonna to wanna to land on the, if you're willing to take the risk, you just have to kind of jump into and glide along the wall. If you don't want to take that risk, get yourself the Hand of Melania and perform the stance swap. From here, switch back to Marika's hammer and perform another stance swap, aiming directly at the bridge. One last piece of advice. When you're trying to determine whether or not these hosts are hiding in these locations, 
Do not underestimate the accuracy of the compass. Move far enough away until the host shows up on the compass and draw a straight line in your mind from your location to the compass marker. Move a, a significant amount of distance away from where you were. Repeat this process two to three times. And where those lines intersect is where the host should be in theory. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you liked the video, please remember to like, comment, or subscribe. And happy hunting.